Hello, my name is Mike Ranieri. In this video, we'll discuss the composability model in Redfish. First of all, what is composability? In the context of disaggregated hardware, components are treated independently and are not bound to a singular system. Compute, network, storage, and other components are treated as individual resources. Components are bound together to create a logical system, and these logical systems function just like traditional computer systems. This allows a user to compose systems using different sets of components without having to touch any hardware. As an example, let's say we have a composable system with a mixture of compute, storage, and network modules. In the initial state, each module is free and not bound with one another. At some point in time, a client comes in and creates a set of composed systems. In this case, the top row of modules form the first composition, the modules in the lower left form a second composition, and the two modules in the lower right form a third composition. Each of these compositions represent a logical computer system. Later, a client changes the compositions in the system. The left two modules form one composition, the next two modules form a second composition, and the right four modules form a third composition. Without changing the hardware configuration, the client was able to restructure the three logical computer systems. A Redfish service reports composability using the composition service resource found off service route. The composition service contains resource blocks and resource zones. Resource blocks are an, are an inventory of the components available, such as processors, memory, and drives. Each resource block contains a set of components and status about the block. Each resource block also represents the lowest level building blocks for creating a system. For example, if a resource block contains one CPU and four memory de devices, then all five of those components are available to the composed system if that resource block is used. Resource zones show the relationship between the different resource blocks in order to express which resource blocks are allowed to be in the same composition. Resource zones also, sh also report capabilities, which allows a client to understand the format of composition requests. On this resource map, the composition service is found on the left side. It contains two collections for the resource blocks and resource zones. There is a relationship between each resource block and resource zone. A resource block can be in one or more resource zones, and a resource zone can contain one or more resource blocks. Each resource block can contain resources that represent components within the resource block, such as processors, memory, and storage. It can even contain entire computer systems, allowing for a single composed computer system to be created using computer systems from one or more resource blocks. This is a sample payload for the composition service. In here, you'll find the status of the service itself and the links to the resource blocks and resource zone collections. This is a sample payload for a resource block. The resource block type property is used to help a client classify the resource block as a given type. In this case, it contains the value storage, so a client can expect to find storage or simple storage types of resources. This property is an array since a manufacturer could embed multiple types of components on a single resource block. Two properties are used to describe the status of a resource block. The common status property is used to reflect the health of the resource block, while the composition status is used to show the composition related information. Within composition status, the composition state property shows the current use of the resource block. In this case, we know this particular resource block belongs to a composition since the state is set to composed. The reserved flag is used by clients to help negotiate ownership of the resource block. Clients can set the reserved flag to true to indicate they've identified a resource block they'd like to use so that other clients don't steal the resource block. When a client no longer needs the resource block, the flag should be set back to false by the client. The Redfish service does not enforce a reserved flag, so it's up to clients to behave fairly. This particular resource block is showing three types of component resources. 
processors, memory, and storage. Other types of components, such as simple storage, Ethernet interfaces, and network interfaces, are not reported by the service. Of the three types of component show, only storage has a resource. A client can use these links to get more information about, about the components within the resource block. In the links object, the computer systems array shows the composed computer systems using this resource block. In this case, the computer system called composed system is using this resource block. This is a sample payload for a resource zone. In the links object, the resource blocks array shows the different resource blocks that are able to be composed together. In this resource zone, a client is able to make compositions using compute block 2, drive blocks 3 through 7, network block 8, and offload block 9. The at redfish.collection capabilities annotation describes the types of compositions this resource zone is able to produce, where those composition requests can be made, and how a client can form the composition request. We'll go into details about the capabilities in, in a few slides. The following steps can be taken as a general workflow for how a client can compose a computer system. First, the client performs an inventory of the system. The client reads the members of the resource blocks collection to understand the components available, and the client also reads the members of the resource zones collection to understand the, the binding restrictions of the components. Second, once the client has identified the components needed, it reads the capabilities information from the appropriate zone to understand how to form a post request. The capabilities information contains annotations for which properties are required in the post request and which properties are optional. Third, the client sends a post request to the computer system collection to create a composed computer system. Finally, when the composed system is no longer needed, the client sends a delete request to the computer system instance. The second step of the previous workflow requires the client to parse the capabilities information for a given zone. In the context of composability, the capabilities of a collection can be found as at redfish annotations in two places the collection in which the post request is made and the zone within the composition service. The collection contains all capabilities for that collection. This is because there could be capabilities beyond composability that a collection needs to express. The resource zone contains all capabilities for that zone, and this is because a single zone could be capable of producing different sets of resources for different collections. The underlying capabilities information for a given use case, regardless of the location, will be the same. Looking back at the previous resource zone example, the bottom of the payload contains the capability structure as marked by the at redfish.collection capabilities annotation. The capabilities object contains the payload sample for how a client forms the post request for a given collection. The use case property describes what this format is supposed to accomplish. In this case, it's set to computer system composition, which lets the client know that this capability describes how a client can uh, compose a computer system. The links object contains a target collection property, which tells the client where the post request can be made. In this case, it's set to the collection slash redfish slash v1 slash systems. The capabilities object has the same payload type as what the client is attempting to create. In this case, the client is able to create a new resource of type computer system. The capabilities object lists out all of the properties the client is allowed to send in the post request using property annotations. This is in the format of property at annotation. In this highlighted case here, the property description is annotated with redfish.optional on create with the value set to true. This lets the client know that the description property is allowed to be in the body of the post request, but it's not mandatory. 
properties annotated with redfish.required on create are mandatory to be in the body of the post request. In this case, the client is required to provide the name, links, and resource blocks properties when making a request to create a new composed computer system. After the client has identified the resource blocks it would like to use in its composition, and after it has parsed the capabilities information, it can build a request to compose a new computer system. In this example, the client is sending a request to the slash redfish slash v1 slash systems collection, and the body contains a name property and three resource blocks in the link section that point to compute block two, drive block six, and network block eight. The service responded with 201 created to indicate the operation was successful and the location header points to slash redfish slash v1 slash systems slash new system to show where the new composed system can be accessed. This also means that the components found on the resource blocks compute block 2, drive block 6, and network block 8 are now all part of this new composed system. When a client performs a get on the composed computer system resource, the response looks just like any other computer system resource. A client can traverse the different device collections, such as the processors, memory, Ethernet interfaces, and storage collections, just like any other computer system. Note that the system type property is set to compose to indicate that this computer system is a composed computer system. The links object also contains links to the resource blocks that this comp composed computer system is consuming. When a client no longer needs the composed computer system, it can send a delete request to the composed computer system. In this case, the client performed a delete against slash redfish slash v1 slash systems slash new system, and the service responded with 204 no, no content to indicate it was successful. The resource blocks that made up the composed system are now free for future compositions. That's all for the redfish composability model. For more information, you can reference the Redfish Standards page, the Redfish Developers Hub, or get involved and join the SPMF. Thank you for watching.